of a rough but close to Auburn, cloudy and cloudy in Bangor. No, not it has clouds and 72 degrees. Is there any way that you could sort of just sock me out so that like I, I don't know that I'm at work? In here, could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day? What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mainly Outdoors and today we have another dark, dreary day here in Bar Harbor. Don't get me wrong, the fog can be beautiful when it rolls over the town and it really adds just a different dimension to this area. But, you know, it's been like that for the last week and to be quite honest, I'm starting to get a little sick of it. But today, the weather's calling for some sunny skies later in the day. So my plan is to go into work, get a couple things done, and then hopefully by the end of the day, we're gonna have some sunny skies and I can actually get out and get a little sun. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing yet, but if you check the title, I'm sure I figured it out by now. So I'll catch you guys out there. As you guys can see, the weatherman is on his A game today. I mean, if anything, the cloud ceiling moved up maybe to 3,000 feet, but still no sun today. But that's all right, because if I'm fishing these brooks, I don't think I want any sun. Well, guys, I don't know about this. The water is extremely low right now. There's hardly a foot of water in most of this. Normally, this is a great spot. So, we'll see. Oh, there we go. I see a pool up ahead. I might have to take the fly line out for that, actually. There's all kinds of room to cast. Let's hope there's some water in it. I'll give that a shot. Fly or spoon. Starting to run out of river now. Uh, I think I'm getting towards the ocean. I'm not quite there yet, but can't be too far ahead. So once I get that close, uh, I'm just gonna turn around and call this. Probably go hit a new spot. quite the hike as you can see I'm just drenched in sweat so hot and muggy fog back and I'm hopefully gonna find another spot and still be able to, to do this catch and cook one trout that's all we need just one catch you at the next spot see one right there. Couple bites. Oh man, wasn't paying attention. Oh, yes. All right, so I wanted to wet my hands before handling this guy. And then also I needed to grab something to measure it with. And so for those who don't know, a standard US bill is um, 6.1 inches. So if this guy is as long as this, we can keep him. Nice fish. And he looks like he's gonna be a keeper. Yep. So he's about seven ish inches, so I'm gonna keep this one. Hopefully, we can catch one more because he's pretty small. So I'll just dispatch him and we'll see if we can catch one more.
Oh, another bite. Yes. Another small guy. We'll see. He's six inches. I'll have myself a decent meal here. And in fact, he is. All right, well, that's awesome, guys. Be quite honest, I didn't think this was gonna happen today. Nice little brookie. I'm gonna go grab that stove and then we're gonna cook these guys up. The bugs are just getting to a point I can't stand them anymore, so I'm just making this fire to get rid of the bugs while I clean these fish. I'm gonna throw a couple uh, spruce brows on here, make a lot of smoke. I'm just taking the taking the guts out, cutting the head off, and then cleaning out that back bloodline and kidney. And other than that, we're just gonna keep the fish whole. And there we go. Two nice little brook trout. Perfect. All right, should be hot enough. Let's get that butter in the pan. Turn that heat down some. Gonna burn my butter. Look at the color on them. Really, really pink. These are gonna be excellent. I think we're at the point where we can start cooking up these fish. Oh yeah. Doesn't get any pressure in that. Should have scored the fish a little bit so they didn't curl up so much, but flip them over and they'll straighten out slightly. Give these guys a little flip. Guys, these are done. So I'm just gonna take them off and let them cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna try this catch out. So mission accomplished. Uh, somehow we were actually able to catch a couple brook trout and cook these up and they turned out really, really well. They look awesome. Uh, one way that you can tell that these are done is if you actually grab the spine and give that a little tug, what happens is all the meat comes off and the ribs and spine come right out. There you go. Boneless fish now. These small trout are great. Uh, super easy. And they taste amazing. And let's give this a try. Mmm. That turned out super good. Look at this one. It's so pink really doesn't get any pressure in that, guys. I mean, I, I just pulled this out of the river. So if you like this, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And give me some feedback as well. You know, I really like to see what you guys think and uh, I'm more than willing to change things. Uh, I'm just getting started, so you know, it's a learning process for me. And, uh, but other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.